truck was not started, so I decided to make a video of how I started my truck. So basically, I was turning the key and nothing was happening. It was just not doing anything. It was not cranking anything like that. So what I did, I tried to bypass the clutch sensor. That didn't work. So my second option was to go start start the truck from the starter. So what I did, the uh, get a wire. You put on both positive on the. So basically. You put the wires on it like that. So that way you could uh, start the truck. You gotta put one on the starter plus and one on the solenoid plus. Not a sensor thing, whatever they have switched in. So you gotta leave your key on position, to start position, all the way on to the right. And then you go and you put the wire on the solenoid and starter, where the solenoid sits on the starter. So, you put... so what you gotta do is turn the ignition on. Leave it on. Let's get the hard part now. But we'll start it, so. From that positive on the cylinder positive, and on the starter positive. On the starter positive, it has like a big, thick wire, and the cylinder is like a little small wire. It has two of them, they're both positive, so I just put on one, and you hold it on, and then the truck starts. And if you have a problem with some clutch sensor or ignition sensor or whatever they have, and something going on, you can't turn the truck on, you can turn it on like that. So watch this video, subscribe, share, comment if you think this video was helpful for you and get to start your truck all right I already done it, done it once so i'm gonna show you guys you see let's see uh, okay get in there good yeah it's very hard i don't know why would they put the starter over here it's so, so dumb See, you see what I'm saying? There's a starter I put on the big wire. And you gotta put on that small one right there. Something so you can start it. Same wire that goes onto this. Onto that. So you have a connection to start the truck. So. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can do it. 